Thank you. My name is Gavin Bloom. I'd like to welcome a very funny guy, a good friend of mine. You can see him performing at the Tempe Improv right now, Mr. Rick Olson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rick Olson, and yes, I'm a sweet piece of eye candy. <laughs> Not Lemonhead. <laughs> Big hunk. <laughs> but if the mood is right, hot tamale. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Uh, so it's an election year. Lots of excitement about that. Some people think the Democrats are going to ruin this country. Where are you people at? Good. <laughs> Some people think the Republicans are going to ruin this country. Where are you people at? Ooh, good. You know who I think is going to ruin this country? Vegetarians. <laughs> I think we're supposed to eat meat. And here's how I know. If someone's brain dead in the hospital on life support, they are called a vegetable. So we don't eat them. <laughs> But that's not my problem with vegetarians. My problem is that their food, well, really how they label their food is schizophrenic. There is an entire industry that takes things like seaweed and tofu and turns them into things that taste like meat for people that don't eat meat. <laughs> I was at Whole Foods the other day and they were giving out samples of tofurkey. And so I walk up to the guy, and he's a frail little thing, kind of anemic. <laughs> Hair was a little unwashed, and I think he just had his tongue pierced because he said, Do you want to tell my tongue fucky? <laughs> it tastes like turkey. Like, <laughs> are you vegetarian? Yes. Then how do you know? <laughs> it, if it's not schizophrenic, it's at least an oxymoron. It would be like Rush Limbaugh saying, I respect women or something. And there, was, there, was, there were no samples of roast beef that tasted like spinach. <laughs> because no company in their right mind tries to take meat and turn it into vegetables. If there was, I'd be a vegetarian. <laughs> that seems like something I could get behind. Literally. And they have, Whole Foods has vegan meatballs. Now, if I was a vegan, I'd be thinking, what the hell? Am I being punked? Does it or doesn't it? I got to know. There's going to be a quiz. Can't mess that up. And, you know, I have a little problem with food. And you may have guessed that. And so if I was vegetarian, I wouldn't eat meat. And I wouldn't use the word meat in any form. I wouldn't meet you halfway. I wouldn't be happy to meet you. I wouldn't join meetup.com. I wouldn't meet you for lunch. I wouldn't go to a meet and greet. And you would never see it a swap meet because that's sick. <laughs> I'm not a swinger. I could finally quit trying to make ends meet, though. I would be so scared of anything with a hint of animal. I wouldn't give a piggyback ride. I wouldn't go hog wild. I wouldn't horse around. I'd have to quit pigging out. That one would be hard for me to do. I don't think I could just quit cold turkey. Uh, and it's not just the food that's a problem. PETA is trying to convince people that vegans make better lovers. Which may explain the Trader Joe's three pack of cucumbers. In our refrigerator. And it's just so typical, when the sex is bad, blame the meat. It's not the meat's fault. One thing my dad promised me before he died was that I would never let my meat loaf. But I, I actually, I think he said, your mother's meatloaf killed me. I got confused. Uh, so PETA's got a long road ahead of them if they're going to try and convince people of this, because have you noticed that all the cool sex words are animal-based? I guess I'm alone in this observation. Uh, even the act of self-love 
involves strangling a chicken <laughs> to death. <laughs> and you got two male chickens, put them in a illegal fight. It's not a rooster fight, it's a Thank you, a cockfight, exactly. But if PETA has their way, you'll never be porking again. <laughs> never, never, never. And ladies, if you want to express your appreciation for what your man brings to the relationship, you tell him he is hung like a mushroom, right, mushroom, <laughs> mushroom. Say, I'm so pleased, baby. Uh, and guys, when you're bragging on your, your, your uh, woman, you get, tell the guy, she was an animal in the sack last night, right? Well, you, dude, she was such an eggplant last night. I swear, she, oh, she was rutabagging for it. And then porn is going to have to change too, you know, because what would the money shot be? Edamame? All right, thank you, Tempe Improv. That's my edamame.